So this question says a painter will paint in walls with the same size and shape in a building using a specific brand of paint. Um, so that's the first sentence. I'm going to stop there and pause and just say this is a translate word problem question. We know that given the length of this question. So the strategy here is to stop at the end of each sentence. Make sure you understand what you just read before moving on. If there's anything quantitative to write down or an expression to write down, make sure to write that down as you read instead of waiting till the end. So we know that there are, you know, we know that N represents number of walls. That's really all we know from the first sentence. The next sentence says the painter's fee can be calculated by the expression NKLH. So I'm going to write that down. So the fee <clears throat> is equal to NKLH, where N is a number of walls. Okay, so we know what that is already. K is a constant with units of dollars per square foot. So K has to do with money, right? How, with cost or price. L is the length of each wall in feet. So that's just the length, so one of the dimensions of the wall. And H is the height of each wall. Okay, so we have dimensions, we have number of walls, we have the length of the wall, the height of the wall, and then we have this constant value that has something to do with the cost. Um, again, we're talking about painting walls. So again, this cost must have something to do with the cost of the paint or how many, how many layers of paint you're putting on, something to do with the paint. So the next part of this question says, if the customer asks the painter to use a more expensive brand of paint, okay, so again, dealing with cost, which of the following factors in the expression would change? Well, you know, if we use a different can of paint, it has no impact on the number of walls there are. It will impact the cost per wall um, or per, per square foot, as the question puts it. It will not impact the length of the wall. It will not impact the height of the wall. So therefore, choice C must be the correct answer here.